This is video number two in our series of how to support kidney health. If you haven't, check out video number one, which I shot yesterday, which is gonna be right next to this video in our channel. But today's video from Healthy Kidney Inc. is how to support good healthy acid levels when you have a poor kidney health. So acid buildup is so, so bad for the kidneys. It is terrible, it just accelerates everything and makes your situation whole so much more worse than it has to be. Unfortunately, a very, very large part of doctors don't ever address acid buildup because it's just overlooked, um, they may not know about it, even though there is um, mountains and mountains of data showing how important it is and really coming to light more and more. So this video is about how you can see if you have too much acid buildup and how to properly correct it. So what you need to do first is you need to get your blood work, okay, because you have to check the blood work. Try to use like pH strips on your urine or saliva to check for your acid alkaline balance isn't going to work, okay, because it's, it's, um, it's not the proper numbers that we're looking for. They don't correlate uh, with blood pHs. So scratch that using urine sticks uh, to look for the acid alkalinity level in your body isn't going to work. So you got to get your blood work. So now that you have your blood work, all right, there's going to be a, a value on there that I want you to look for. It's called CO2 or called carbon dioxide. So again, when you get your blood work, you want to look for the CO2 or carbon dioxide. That's the, the real measurement of your acid alkaline balance, okay? That's what you go by and that's what we, we all go by, all right? The, the real uh, people who know what they're doing when it comes to this stuff. So you look at the CO2 or carbon dioxide level, all right? What we want nowadays, all right, the magic number that we want is 24 or greater, okay? 24 or greater. And if, you, uh, if you're not at 24, then it's considered some degree of, of acid buildup, too much acid. If you're like 16, 17, 18, 19, that's really bad, okay? And that's something you want to correct. If you're uh, 20, 21, 22, 23, you still want to correct it, but you don't have to use as, as high doses of the things we're going to talk about. So again, you have to get your blood work, okay? A lot of doctors don't test the CO2 or carbon dioxide, so just make sure you have that tested because that's what you need to see and know to gauge how much acid or, alkal or acids build up in your system. So CO2, carbon dioxide, magic numbers, 24 and above now. That's what we love, that's what we like, and that does amazing good things for the kidney, okay? So you, as, as a lot of you watch this video, you're gonna go back and look at your blood work and go, oh man, I'm not even, I'm not even close, or I'm, I have a lot of acid buildup. And a lot of you are gonna say, my doctor never said anything. You, you can't go by your doctors 100%. You need great, good medical staff behind you but you have to take control of your own health. No one's gonna do it for you. And if you put the control into a person who only spends 15 or 20 minutes with you every couple months uh, to go over your, you know, your stuff and write you quick labs, I mean, you really can't expect to get good, real care like that. So it's, it's, it's in your control and it's your ability and it falls on you to control your health the best you can. So now that you know whether or not you have too much acid buildup, you say, oh, okay, I have too much acid or I'm per completely okay and I don't have to worry about it. First thing they recommend is increase fruits and vegetables because you'll get more um, alkaline properties from that alkali property. So increase fruits and vegetables. Decrease animal products because that's where a lot of acid comes from. And thirdly, they recommend using an alkali uh, supplement. Okay, an alkali supplement and traditionally used is sodium bicarbonate. Okay, that's been used forever to correct too much acid buildup. Now there's a lot of different, um, a few different sodium bicarbonates out there. I'm gonna go over a couple to see which is the best one for you, but the standard right now has always been to use basic sodium bicarbonate. You can try baking soda, but it doesn't taste as good. It's a little messy. They make sodium bicarbonate pills, okay? Sodium bicarbonate pills, all right? Like I said, this is the standard that we've been using forever to help metabolic acidosis. So as you can see it there, you can get sodium bicarbonate pills online and you can start using those. It's gonna vary from each person depending how much acid you have built up, but it could be between one of three pills for most people. Some people that have really bad diets uh, and don't wanna change them have to use upwards of six to eight pills to correct the uh, acidosis. And that's in the literature, so that's nothing, nothing uh, unheard of or absurd where it's too many pills. So that's your first option. 
check that acid alkaline balance on your blood work if needed to. Sodium bicarbonate's the best thing to help correct it. Now you have the choice of using baking soda or sodium bicarbonate tablets, or we have new things to the market, all right, things called delayed release, okay, sodium bicarbonate, meaning one of the issues with sodium bicarbonate is it can affect your stomach acid, okay? It affects mineral absorption, uh, it can cause other issues. It's a side effect, all right? Uh, it's not a strong one. We recommend taking those pills between meals, okay? The sodium bicarbonate pills between meals to not affect your stomach acid during food. The other option is using a delayed release sodium bicarbonate, which I do prefer, okay? I like it a lot better. It reduces uh, any of those negative interactions. Plus, um, you get more of the sodium bicarb because a lot of that bicarb is neutralized by the stomach acid. And don't worry about the sodium and sodium bicarb. It's actually a pretty small amount. Most of it's bicarbonate. So the other option is delayed release capsules. Now, I have two companies that make these. Now, I'm gonna show you what they are, but regardless of what you decide to use, remember, the standard's always been just plain baking soda, sodium bicarbonate tablets. Now, one of our companies here is called Nature's Path Nutraceuticals. We make a, a product called Bicarb Boost. That's enteric coated, uh, sorry, not enteric coated, delayed release, sodium bicarbonate, 650 milligrams per pill. Great product that can help you get a lot more of that sodium bicarbonate to your kidneys minimizing any of those negative interactions. Now that product is just sodium bicarbonate. We have another product by my main company called Healthy Kidney Inc, which is Kidney Restore, which does amazing great things because it's got so many good combination uh, and good products and good nutrients in there. So that also is a delayed release capsule and it's got sodium bicarb in it, not as much as the bicarb boost, it's a smaller amount, but it still has plenty in there that can do really good things for those acid levels. Now. Those, that's, so this video now is how you can tell if you have too much acid buildup, what to do about it, and what your choices are, all right? And I can't tell you, because after I post this video, I'm gonna get a lot of people who are gonna come back to me and say, hey, I can't believe I got all this acid with everything. That's okay. Uh, I can't tell you about the you know tons and tons of people who we address this to all the time on a daily basis, and I'm still amazed that doctors aren't uh, addressing it even though it's getting put out at most of the renal conferences um, and journals, et cetera. So really important to do, address that, that acid buildup because it's gonna do such good things for your kidney health. Thanks for watching everybody. This is Robert Galarowitz and have a great day. Bye.